Nearing game time now at Citizens Bank Park. It's the Marlins and the Phillies, and it comes your way next. MLB The Show welcomes you to the city of brotherly love. We're at Citizens Bank Park as we get set to bring you this edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight it's game two of this three-game series as it'll be the Miami Marlins taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. And hi again, everybody. Alongside colleagues Dave Campbell and Eric Harris, I'm Matt Vaskersian here to call the balls and strikes. We'll hear from the guys in just a moment here. But first, let's get right to our starting lineup. It's presented by State Farm. Get to a better state, State Farm. And on the mound to greet these guys, you see the numbers there for the veteran right-hander, Joel Pinheiro. Now we'll look at the way the Phillies will line up behind him. Striding in here is the leadoff man, Jose Reyes, as we are just about ready for baseball from Philadelphia. First pitch of the ball game here is taken for a cold strike one. Pitch, Goes the other way as this is line to left. And Reyes is aboard with a leadoff single. And this is what folks mean when they talk about time in the fastball. He looks at the first pitch just to get a feel for the speed, the movement. And then when it comes again, now he knows how to handle it. Chris Coglin will stand in for the first time here. Chris Coglin. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. Not quite a pitch out there, but a fastball up and away is the perfect pitch for a catcher to throw on if need be. Now a ball line toward right center, and he's got himself a base hit. And he'll make it there safely, so the Marlins put him at the corners to open up the inning. Back-to-back -back singles here to start the inning, and a good job of base running there to take the extra base. Now they're really in business with runners at the corners now with nobody out. Hanley Ramirez will stand in, hoping to get things turned around here in April as he enters play with an average down in the 220s. Fastball runs a bit inside here. It's 1-0. and Yeah, with first and third and nobody out, I think defensively you'd be happy to trade that first run for a double play ball, anything to make sure this first inning doesn't get out of hand. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Down low, two balls and a strike. And one thing you can't do here, you can't lose him and load the bases. He's still got two pitches to play with, but I would expect this one to be in the zone. Come set, now the pitch. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. And the opening salvo is fired here as they take a one to nothing lead. Boy, and what a start to a game on the road. Three straight hits here to start the ball game have given them an early one nothing lead, and they're in great shape to add on even more. Logan Morrison 
will stand in. He's got that average pushing up near 300 to start the new season. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. Yeah, the three straight hits are bad enough, but now he's compounding matters by falling behind the next guy. First and second here with nobody out. A look back by Pinero. The pitch, perhaps a little low there. It's 2-0. Well, this is the kind of inning he's not pitching efficiently. He's just trying to be too darn fine. He's not trusting his stuff. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Pause, now the pitch. Two and two now. Leading a lot of pitches out over the plate here in the first. It's already gotten him in trouble. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. A tag for one. On to first, they got him, a triple play. Marlins forced to settle for one. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. The Marlins lead this one, one to nothing. Starting lineup for Charlie Manuel and the Phillies is there on your screen. And on the mound to face this lineup, there you see the numbers for the hard-throwing right-hander, Josh Johnson. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. The center fielder Juan Pierre makes his way to the box to get us going here in the home half of inning number one. Here's a ground ball to first. And that's going to find its way through, so the dangerous Pierre is aboard on a leadoff single. Now you could see him just basically jumping at that first pitch. He pulls it into right field for a solid base hit. Placido Polanco steps in now. Now the first pitch. Grounded to third. This could be two. The second for one. And it's right over his head. Huh. This looked to be a sure double play ball, but look at the throw here. Whoop. <laughs> right over his head at second base. That's a costly one. Ryan Howard will get his first opportunity now. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Top, it's 2-0. And, oh. and that release point I mentioned a minute ago still hasn't really shown up yet. I tell you, though, you do not want to give these guys too many 2-0 or 3-1 counts. Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike. 2-1. 
that looked like a straight take there on the fastball, but on 2-0, oh, I'm a little surprised he'd just stand there and watch that one. Good fastball that time as he's pulled the count back to even now. It's 2-2. Two and two. And it looks like he's going to let his fastball be the one that gets him out of this jam. None out, runners at first and second. Pierre leads from second, now the pitch. And a full count as that misses, it's three and two now. In danger now of loading the bases for the cleanup hitter, and that is never a sound strategy. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And he misses with it. Ball four, so that'll load the bases. And now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. And he's managed to load the bases now, despite just one hit in the inning. Got to find a way to bounce back out there. Hunter Pence digs in now with a chance to at least tie the game, if not give his club the lead here in the early stages. And obviously looking for the ground ball here as this misses low. It's 1-0. Right back with a fastball, and that evens the count at one and one. Mm, just overmatched him there. Oh, and that fastball's too much for him there, one and two. And now with two strikes, he won't worry about trying to get a ground ball. He will definitely be gunning for the strikeout. Here's Johnson now with the one two. And this is cut on and missed by Pence as he set down on strikes for the first out. And you talk about a big strikeout. My goodness, that's as big as they come there, but he better not forget. He's not out of the woods yet, not by a long shot. So the bases are loaded here with one man gone and making his way in is the second baseman, Chase Utley. Fastball and that ran in on him as he had to limbo out of the way that time. Yeah, that's not even close. And a bases loaded situation is a bad time to lose faith in your command. Bases are loaded here, one man out. Look out, 2 0 oh now. And he's obviously not trying to hit him there. He just let that one get away from him. In there, two and one. Yeah, but the base is loaded. He had to take that one, but you can bet he did so against every fiber in his body. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Oh. 
Hit hard to the right. Foul. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And this misses, so it'll set up a big pitch coming up. It's full three and two. Can't afford to be too fine now. And this is sent out to Reyes. This could be two. A bare hand for one on to Sanchez. And it's a double play. And that ends the inning. One hit, one error in the inning. But they wind up leaving two. We'll move to inning number two here in Philadelphia. The Marlins on top, one to nothing. Gabby Sanchez will stand in. And you see the average there up over 300 to start the new season. Now here's the first pitch. Big slow breaking ball that drops in for a strike to start him out. It's nothing and one. Yeah, he starts him out with a nice breaking ball there. That's all about putting a guy back on his heels to begin the at bat. Jammed him there as this is rolled out to short. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. And on a cold night early in the season, pitchers like to bury that fastball out of guy's hands. Just not a lot you can do with a pitch in there. Mike Stanton will stand in. He is off to a dreadful start at the plate as he has not hit the ball well in April. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. and oh. And if you miss, you want to miss inside. Don't make a mistake belt high out over the plate. one -oh on the way. Lays off again, and it's 2-0. and oh. And he gets this fastball over. It's two and one. That was a dangerous spot there for a good fastball hitter. Good thing he was taking. And, ooh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. Two and two now. I don't know about that. That might have been a reputation call there. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit hard on the ground is short. Up with it is Rollins. And a throw over to Howard, and that's the second out. Yeah, keeping him busy out there at short this inning, but he won't mind that one bit. Omar Infante will dig in now, and he's got to be wondering when his bat's going to make the trip north from spring training as he has really struggled in the early going. Inside with the fastball, it's 1-0. And that misses 2-0. and oh. The 2-0. -oh. And that one's wide to the mark. Ball three. Yeah, he's all over the place right now. I mean, his mechanics have called a cab and left the ballpark. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. 
Doing the smart thing, taking all the way. Now the 3-1 pitch. Now a ball bounced towards the second baseman. Throw on to the first baseman, Howard, and with that, the side is retired. Nice job there on the mound by Joel Pinheiro, and his club's keeping it close. It's 1-0. So the shortstop, Jimmy Rollins, will start things off in the bottom of the second. Now he'll try to bunt his way on, but this has popped up. Buck is there, and he'll bring this one in. Well, this is not always as easy as it looks for a catcher, but he does a good job of locating it that time, and he puts it away with ease. Shane Victorino will stand in now. Switch hitter batting from the left side here. Now the first pitch. Too low, 1-0. And these guys didn't get any runs in the first, but they did force this guy to throw more than 20 pitches to get him out. If they can keep that rate up, they could get him out of there after five. in there and it's even at one and he lays off for a ball two and one Good time to call the change as he swings and misses for strike two. Yeah, changed up on him. I'd say throw that pitch again. Now the 2-2 two -two pitch. Now a pitch swung on and hit to the left side, but this is gonna find the seats a foul ball. And that is swung on and missed by Victorino as he can't connect, and there are two gone now. And obviously, any time you can strike this guy up, you'll take it. I mean, he runs like a greyhound out there, so even routine grounders can sometimes be turned into base hits. Not when you're not making contact, though. Carlos Ruiz will get his first cuts here. Here's the first offering. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. Swing and a miss for strike one. And with the pitcher on deck, you'd love to get this guy here and make the pitcher lead off the third. They'll say he broke the plane as, yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. The pitch. Fouled back. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Come on, Phillies. Come on, Phillies. 
Now a fastball swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And gone! A home run! A solo shot for Carlos Ruiz. And it brings the Phillies back even now with one apiece. Two outs and nobody on. If you've got power, hey, you go for it. I mean, he just keeps those hands high, drives right on through the baseball, full extension. That ball ain't coming back. Joel Pinheiro will be the batter. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Still won't get him to fish downstairs, and it's 2-0 now. And with two outs, you got to throw strikes to the pitcher. A strike, and it's 2-1. Just the second inning, but already 37 pitches to this point. Here's the two and one pitch. Got him to go after a bad one there, and it evens the count at two and two. swing off the bat of Carlos Ruiz. We play two, all even now at 1-1. John Buck is ready to go here as we begin the third. John Buck. Now a fastball to start the third. That misses. It's ball one. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Here's the 1-1 one, one on its way to Buck. On the corner, 1-2. and two. Now you can't look for a specific pitch. You just got to protect the plate. To two balls and two strikes now. Ball hit high in the air, deep down the line and left, hooking just a little. And that ball is gone as he tucks it over the wall down the left field line. A solo shot off the bat of John Buck. As the Marlins take the lead, it's now a 2-1 ball game. Yeah, he got out in front of this quite a bit. Now, I didn't know if it was going to stay fair, but you'll see here, this ball just barely hooks inside that foul pole. Josh Johnson will Josh dig Johnson. in here. Catcher. Josh Johnson. Oh. 
And Pinheiro able to muscle up on a fastball as he gets ahead, nothing and one. Bases are empty here, nobody out. And the pitch. Line hard to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. Much of an effort there as he'll look at strike three called. And on three pitches, he's your first out of the inning. That's the way you want to see guys respond after giving up a home run. You know, some guys, they go into a shell. They hang their heads. Some guys get a little gun shy. They start to nibble at the corners. This guy, he gets teed off. And he comes right after the next guy in the lineup. But I'm a pitching coach. That's what I want to see. Jose Reyes is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Now here's the pitch. And now we'll try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. And Ruiz able to make an accurate throw there as the bunt single try is turned away. Pretty nice play behind the plate. I've seen many a catcher come out and overrun that ball when using the bare hand, but he gets a good grip on it and is able to get the out at first base. Chris Coglin will stand in. A base hit his first time around. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Ball one. right back to the outside part of the plate, but that misses as well. It's two and one. And this is where you hope for an umpire with a wide strike zone, but he did not get the call. Takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. And you don't want this inning to go any further than this, so I think he'll probably get something to hit here. Here he comes, 3-1. And he misses, ball four. And when things are going well, you get these calls sometimes, but with the way things have been going here tonight, he's not going to get the benefit of the doubt and winds up losing them. Hanley Ramirez will stand in. An RBI single in his first appearance. Here's the first offering. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Oh. A runner on first with two away. Out of play off to the right. It's 1-1. One Slider just off the black there, and it's to two and one now. Yeah, nothing but inside pitches to him so far. I'd be surprised if they went anywhere else. Peanuts. The two one. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. Sign of a smart hitter right there.
And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on balls. Now there are two ways you can go here as a pitching coach. So he's got to make a judgment call out there. He knows what buttons to press with each of his pitchers. You know, some guys you've got to reassure and be very positive with. You know, other guys, they respond better when you go out and challenge them. Really got to read them the riot act. Logan Morrison will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. Logan Morrison. In the air to center. And Pierre will tuck this one away, and the inning is over. One for the Marlins on the solo shot. We play two and a half. Two to one now, Miami. Juan Pierre makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. First pitch of the inning is lined into left field, and there's a leadoff base runner. Well, they really haven't been able to ruffle his feathers too much to this point, but a first pitch single here to begin the inning will at least put him into a stretch right away. Placido Polanco will be the batter. But good work back there by Buck to hold on. Swing and he takes this the other way to right. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first out. And this could have really gotten the inning off to a good start. But this finds the outfielder's glove out there and that runner's forced to retreat back to first. So one gone here in the Philadelphia third and digging in slugging first baseman Ryan Howard. Now a throw over and he'll get dirty but he's back in safely. And again a throw has to dive but he's back. And that misses for ball one. That change up away is his ground ball pitch. That's a good job to hold off. Get that runner to second base now. Throw over to the bag. And late reactions, and they got him. And we're going to get a stoppage here as... Mm, well, we talked about him pitching through the shoulder injury back in the open, and it looks that he very obviously has done something to re-aggravate it. Chad Gaudin will be summoned now to take over following the injury. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Not given an easy task here to come in and have to face Ryan Howard right away. And here's a fastball for a strike, two and one now. The 2 1 now to Howard. And he's fallen behind now, 3 and 1.
Hunter Pence would be next. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Line softly to the right side, foul. This one out to deep right field. Stanton is back for a look, but this will sail over the wall for a home run. A solo shot there for Ryan Howard as the Phillies should come back to tie this one at two. I'll tell you, that Achilles won't hurt so much if all he's got to do is jog around the bases. Here he gets a fastball, but it's not in a spot where you should be throwing fastballs to Ryan Howard, and he unloads on it. Hunter Pence will try it again, set down on strikes his first time. And here's a fastball that he takes the other way out to fairly deep right. Stanton is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Phillies get one on the home run by the big fella, Ryan Howard. Three complete from Citizens Bank Park, and we're deadlocked now at two. Back alongside Dave Campbell and Eric Karros, Matt Vaskersian with you as Gabby Sanchez gets set to lead things off in the Miami half of the inning. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 now. That was a good spot to miss. That thing fell right through the bottom of the zone. Oh, he squares this one nicely, and it's lined into center field for a leadoff single. And after they watch their lead slip away in the last half inning, this is a good job here as the go-ahead run gets on base to start this half inning. Mike Stanton will stand in. He grounded out his first time. He waits, now the pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. Oh. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Rollins, and he'll have to hold on to it there as the takeout slide had him well off balance. Well, this is a good job at first of coming off the bag and then making sure one. You know, a lot of times guys will hurry it. You know, they think they've got to throw it quickly or they won't get the double play. Uh, he chose the smart route there and got the force on the lead runner. Omar Infante will stand in. He grounded out his first time. for second and this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats
Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. And this is hit hard to the right side, but foul. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Kind of hard to think that he wouldn't have had an idea that a fastball might be coming here, but judging by his reaction, I should say lack of reaction, I guess not. John Buck will stand in again. He homered his first time around. A look over to Stanton, and now the pitch. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. And now if you can get this guy here, you'll be in a position where you'll have the pitcher leading off in the top of the fifth. doesn't want any part of the curveball either. It's 0-2 now. Ah, and a little shake of the head there. That one just flat frozen. Got him. One hit, one left. To the bottom of inning number four we go. And we are tied 2-2. A look at the National League scoreboard as we get the latest on what's happening in the senior circuit. Chase Utley will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss as the count goes to 0-2 on Utley. Yeah, it's so hard to stay back against a guy like this. Unless you guess right, that thing's just so slow that it's almost impossible to keep from getting out on your front foot. On a swing, and he popped him up. Off to the left in foul territory. Ramirez is over, and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Well, this was a good fastball, and you can see the path on swing track. It really came into his kitchen there and kept him from getting his arms extended. Jimmy Rollins will dig in. He popped out in foul territory his first time. In there, no balls and a strike. And he's probably not going to throw too many first pitch changeups. That's a pretty darn good call. One out, nobody on. And he'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. Oh, not in time, and that'll go as a bunt single. And if you're going to throw out a guy like this, you basically can't afford to have any wasted movement in your pickup or release. This took too long, though, to be honest. I'm not sure they were going to get him anyway. Shane Victorino will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. Infante for one. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. And you're really going to have to turn one to get this guy at a double play. And he winds up beating out the back end, so he's safe on the fielder's choice. Two are gone in the Philly fourth. And stepping in is the catcher, Carlos Ruiz.
Starts him out with a changeup off the plate for ball one. And he might take another pitch or two here. Give that guy on first a chance to steal his way into scoring position. Now a move over to first. And the runner back. Fouled back. Buck with the sign. Now the one and one. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right. And that'll move the count to one and two now. Hard hit down the line. And Gabby will take this one himself, and the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We played four full, and we are tied 2-2. Chad Gaudin will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. First pitch on the way. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Line down the left field line. But this will be foul. And he takes a cold strike, too. A few pitches to play with now. Let's see if they can get him to fish at something. Grounded foul, still two strikes. To two balls and two strikes now. Wow, he's acting more like a leadoff man here. He's actually making him sweat. This ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Boy, and you don't want to waste a lot of pitches on the opposing pitcher. Swing and a miss, and he's got that strikeout pitch working now. That's three in a row for him as there's one away. And that was a good at bat. You know you'd like to get a base hit, obviously, but realistically, you at least want that guy out there to burn through some pitches as he was forced to do that right here. Jose Reyes will dig in now. A dangerous hitter indeed as the National League's reigning batting champion. Now the first pitch is in the air out toward right field. And there to take it in his pence, and that's out number two. And this will save you a little wear and tear. How about a one-pitch flyout after a long battle? He'll take it. Chris Coglin will stand in. Base on balls his last time. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. Now here it comes. And this is heading for the seats and out of play to the left.
Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Miami down in order, halfway home, tied to a piece. Joel Pinheiro will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. And now the Marlins bullpen will swing into action as a lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. and Now a swing and a bouncing ball for the shortstop, Reyes. Throw to first is in time for the first out. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring in the speedy center fielder, Juan Pierre. First pitch here misses wide, 1 0. Fastball bounces up to the plate and it's taken for a ball. And you certainly want to make sure you throw strikes to this guy because he'll steal you blind if you give him a free pass. Swing and a ball sliced fouled into the seats down the left field line. Grounded softly to the left side. Throw on to Sanchez is in time. Two away. Back-to-back -back ground outs here to start the inning. This is a good job of knowing your surroundings and pitching to your ballpark. This place is a definite hitter's delight, so if you can keep the ball on the ground, that's half the battle. So two are gone in the inning now for Placido Polanco. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. And even with two outs, this is a team that can still put something together here, especially in this part of the lineup. So you can't let your guard down. Now a ball hit pretty well to the left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Hits are even right now at five aside. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Big swing there as it's hit pretty well out toward deep left field. Morrison will get under it though and he puts it away to retire the side. Phillies down in order through five. All even at 2-2. Two, two. Hanley Ramirez will get things started here in the top of inning number six. Lays off 1-0. and And this is fouled back and out of play. Lays off the slider that time, two and one. 
And it's pretty clear they've decided to work him up in the zone here as they've gone up with the last three pitches. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Ball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Good to get that first out here in the top of the six. You see his line to this point in this 2-2 ball game. He's done what he needs to do out there, and he's been pretty effective all told. Logan Morrison will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Breaking ball for a strike, 0 and 1. And even though he's pitching well, this is a part of the order that he's really got to worry about. Now they can turn a good outing into a bad one pretty darn quickly. Man, a fastball just misses. It's 1 and 1. Slice down the left side, but foul. Two runs, five hits, and one error so far for the Marlins. Swing and a high pop-up back onto the outfield grass now. And Rollins is there to squeeze it for route number two. And here in these middle innings, they just haven't been able to get anything going against him out there. And that's seven in a row now. He's set down here in the fourth, fifth, and sixth. Gabby Sanchez will dig in one for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. And pitch counts here, always a big factor, more so here in the first few weeks of the season. Fouled back. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. And he's tracking that all the way across the plate, but that had too much sweep to it for him to think of swinging. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. Oh. 
And a fastball misses there, ball four. And he's saying, give me a break. I mean, that pitch is right there. And I tell you, though, complaining like that is only going to squeeze that strike zone a little more. Mike Stanton will dig in now, hoping to perhaps make him pay for the two-out walk. Now some action in the Phillies' bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. One zero pitch now. Two and zero now. Now he's going to get a visit from his catcher just to make sure he's all right. But you know, this might actually be more of a stall tactic here. I mean. His pitch count, it's starting to get up there, so this might just be to buy a little time for that bullpen. And that's in there, two and one. Just trying to find something that works here. Two one pitches a fastball swung on and missed two and two. Now on two and two, where are you going here? Well, I for sure don't let him get extended, so I'm working him tight with the hard stuff. Sets the two two pitch. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. Full count, three and two. And even though that runs the count full, you'll at least get the benefit of giving that runner at first a head start here. And he may be starting to lose the feel here as that misses for ball four, and that's back-to-back -back walks now with two away. Oh, and you know he wanted that one. Now the inning will continue, and a guy moves up into scoring position here. Omar Infante will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. This is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Marlon Strand a pair. Home half of the sixth inning coming up. Deadlocked at two apiece. Ryan Howard will stride in again. And before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. First pitch coming. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. And you can see they're playing the pull here as Reyes is over on the right side of second base. Ah. Trying to keep the ball down here as this one finds the knees for strike one. Now the one and one pitch. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. And you can't understate how important a leadoff base runner would be in a tie ball game. So this is a big pitch right here. So the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth.
And that's what I'd call an intelligent at-bat right there. It's good knowledge of the strike zone, and more importantly, of how the home plate umpire calls a strike zone. Got himself a leadoff walk. So a runner at first now with nobody out, and that'll bring in the right fielder, Hunter Pence. Fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Two two is our score. Leadoff man aboard at first here with nobody out. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Buck with the sign, now the one and one. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Runners on the move for second. And he goes after a fastball, but pops it up. Back behind second base. Infante retreats to the outfield grass and he has it for round number one. And he's done just about all you could ask here in relief. Two and two thirds innings now with just two hits allowed. He's really come in and pretty much shut the door. Chase Utley will go back now. He popped out in foul ground last time. Low for ball one. And this one will be foul back in among the fans. Runner at first, Howard, the pitch. He's running towards second. But the catch is made on the line out there. Will they have a shot at doubling him off first? Throw back to first. Doubles him up and the inning is over. Welcome back to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. All tied at two apiece as we get set to start the seventh. But before we do, let's have a look at our game summary through the first six. Brian Sanchez will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. John Buck will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Now some movement out in the Phillies bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Missed low and inside with it, one and one. And they could certainly use another home run out of him right here. Now a swing and he just fouls this one away. Buck waits the one two pitch and a good take there close but it's two and two. Swing and a hard hit grounder down the line. 
And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. Pretty good swing right there leading off this inning. He just sends this thing right inside the bag at third, but a nice play out there in left field to get to it quickly and hold him to just a single. Emilio Bonifacio will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Starts him with a breaking ball this time. Misses down and in for a ball. 1-0. Oh. oh, and a good job there of anticipating that pitch in the dirt. Fastball at 88 that time. A ball and a strike. but Ruiz able to block it nicely. Now ball hit foul down the line and right and in amongst the fans. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. As a look, now the pitch. And he misses with it, ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring position now. Well, and this is the old saying, when in doubt, talk it out, as they'll gather the entire infield here to make sure they've got the correct play set up. Jose Reyes will get another crack, one for three thus far. First pitch to him. Oh, and he lays one down here, and this is going to be a tough play. Barehanded. Throw won't get him, and Reyes is aboard with a bunt single. And this is exactly where you want to steer this thing at the plate. You want the third baseman to field this ball, and as it turns out, they don't get anyone on the play, and that loads the bases. Dontrell Willis will be summoned into the toughest situation a reliever can face. Bases are loaded with nobody out. Chris Coglin will get a shot now, and you figure the infield will likely come in here, at least on the corners. And Dontrell just fires the fastball by him there for strike one. Getting that first pitch is very important when you got the bases loaded. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. And he takes a cold third strike. And no help there as the go-ahead run stays at third with one away now. <laughs> and the first big step towards getting out of the inning. That go-ahead run stays at third after the strikeout. And now the question on the mound becomes... Can he do it again? Hanley Ramirez 
will be the batter here, and with the bases loaded, they can afford to play double play depth up the middle. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. Obviously a big spot, and they've got the right guy up there, the team leader in RBIs. Come set, now the pitch. Now a ball rolled slowly down the third baseline, and he'll smartly just ensure that this stays a foul ball. Swing and a fly ball, but shallow. And that's not going to do it. And a diving effort, but he can't make the play in right. A run is in. Around third and being waved on home. Two runs have scored. Now three runs are in. Well, that could turn out to be the big blow of the ball game right there. In a tie ball game, he's just hoping to make sure to get one of those guys home. But instead, he drives all three of them in with a bases clearing triple. Logan Morrison will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot, 0 for 3 thus far. Sweet. Good live fastball that time from Dontrell. It's 0 and 1. And now a simple ground ball or fly ball here could make that three-run triple essentially look like a grand slam. Fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. And that's an easy pitch to pop up there, so a nice job to lay off. Now the one one. And that misses two and one. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Mm. Just did manage to catch that one with the last two inches of his glove. That could have been trouble. And he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location, and and over the wall, a home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field, and the lead is now 7-2. to two. Yeah, and he may have gone to the well one too many times there, and it's going to wind up costing him. Once you give a hitter an idea for the speed and delivery of that thing, he'll learn how to handle it, and I think he handled it about as well as he could there. Gabby Sanchez will stand in, base on balls his last time. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball, 1-0. and oh. Fastball in there for a strike, 92 on the radar gun that time. And this is something we have not seen. He needs to attack a little harder here early in the count. One one pitch on the way. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? 
Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. Lays off the one-two changeup, and he's worked it back to two and two. Yeah, and when you miss wild like that, it certainly does not help you set up your next pitch. Ball three here as that pitch runs way up and in and backs him out of the box here. Mm, he did not like that one bit. You know, it's one thing to work in with the hard stuff, but don't do it around the dome. The 3-2 pitch. Now a ball hit high and deep, heading toward the corner and left. Victorino is going to get there to make the catch a few steps into foul territory for out number two. And definitely some words exchanged on the way back to the dugout. Most likely stemming from that brush back on the pitch before. Mike Stanton will stand in, base on balls his last time. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. The 1-0 pitch. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Sends a fastball out to left field and fairly well hit. But he'll get there as he flags it down just shy of the wall. And with that, the side is retired. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate in scoring five. Bottom of the seventh now. Get up and stretch here in Philly. It's the Marlins seven and the Phillies two. And since we've already seen what's going on in the National League, let's check out the AL action now on our out-of-town scoreboard. Juan Aviedo will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seventh. Jimmy Rollins will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. A couple of lefties start to get loose now in the bullpen. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball chop foul down the left side. Ball hit in the air, but in play, perhaps, down the line. Morrison will get there as he makes the catch in foul territory for the first out. Obviously, still very early in the season, but he's yet to give up a run so far. So, as a pitcher, you want to keep that clean sheet as long as possible, and he's got the first out of the inning here. So, one gun in the inning for Shane Victorino. And this will be fouled away. Come on. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. 
And these guys are not going to be too excited to read the Philadelphia papers tomorrow morning. Ah, uh, changed up on him here, but this is lined into left field for a base hit. Well, there's a lot of teams where a five-run deficit might be all she wrote. But these guys are not one of them. So this game is not in the bank by any means, and he's aboard here with a one-out single. Carlos Ruiz will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning. As we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. And these guys are really starting to look like a team that's defeated. They're not even offering at good pitches right now. Here's one that misses high. It's 1 and 1. And in order for that thing to be effective, it's got to be down. It almost doesn't matter how quick you throw it or how much the break is. Now a throw over to first, and a dive, but he's back. And this is sent out to Reyes. This could be two. Infante for one. On to Sanchez, and it's a double play, and that ends the inning. Phillies go down quietly there. They're down five. It's seven to two. Charlie Manuel making his way toward home plate here, so it appears we'll have a double switch coming up. Michael Stutes will be summoned from the bullpen now, so he'll take over to start inning number eight. Number 40, Michael Stutes. Now catching and batting in the ninth spot. Number Omar Infante will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Is a fastball right there for strike one. Now a fly ball here, not hit all that well out toward Pence in right. One down. John Buck will dig in. He homered back in inning number three. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Whoa, he may not see one better than that. Now some movement out in the Phillies bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. A ball outside, apparently. One and one. Seven runs, nine hits, and one error so far for the Marlins. One one pitch is a curveball just off the black. Two and one now. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two.
Here's the 2-2 two two offering. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at 3-2. and two. selection or the location there and it's well placed maybe just a hair off the outside corner but three two that's where you want to be and a pinch hitter about to be summoned from the dugout and it's the guy who led the majors with 22 pinch hits in 2008 Greg Dobbs will get the call he's ready now the pitch there's a strike at the knees, 0-1. Oh, no. And he gets some pretty good wood on it here as this is lifted to fairly deep left. There to play it is Victorino, and that's out number two. And the way balls have been flying out of here, every time a fly ball's hit, you think it might go the distance. But this one stays up long enough for him to put it away out there. Jose Reyes will dig in. He singled and later scored his last time. First pitch coming. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Two out with the man at first. Now Reyes awaits the 1 1. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. One two is an off speed pitch. No dice. It's two and two. And now an important pitch here because if you go three and two that's going to activate the runner. Swing and a ball hit on the ground, oh, a but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. And with the count full now, the runner on first should be off with a pitch here. Now here's the ball skied down the left field line. And Victorino will make the catch and the inning is over. So a good bounce back inning here after the five run outburst last time around. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Marlins seven and the Phillies two. Just about ready for the bottom of the eighth now, but before we begin, let's go back and see how the Marlins got themselves to a better state. It came right here with the bases loaded as three runs came plateward on a big triple. Get to a better state, State Farm. Randy Choate will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Brian Schneider will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight.
fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. You know, and unless these guys can turn things around quickly, it's starting to look like this winning streak is going to come to an end at three games. Juan Pierre will get another shot now, two for three in the game. Fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. Low and away as he misses again. Two and zero. Oh. And this is a guy that's been around long enough to know they're not going to make up this difference with one swing. So. That's a good job of being patient here. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. Throw on to Sanchez is in time, two away. And sometimes it seems if you're left-handed and you've got a heartbeat, they'll find a job for you. He's turned this left-handed specialist stuff into a very nice career. Placido Polanco will stand in as they're quickly down to their final four outs tonight. And here's the first pitch. Right field. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They're down five. It's seven to two. Time for one last look at our National League scoreboard to see what's happening elsewhere. Antonio Bastardo come on now to start the ninth inning as he looks to keep this deficit right where it is for the bottom of the ninth. Chris Coughlin will get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the ninth. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Now pitch on the way, and he lays off for ball one. Ball hit out toward Utley at second. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. And here's what's due up in the next half inning. Big trouble right at the start as Ryan Howard is due to lead it off. Hanley Ramirez will get another shot. He cleared the bases with a triple his last time. And there's a strike right down the heart of the plate, 0-1. Boy, that's not the spot you want to start out a guy like this. He will not get away with that one twice. Runs up to Bunn here and pops this one up. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Here's the pitch. Swing and a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. All right, he's off to a hot start this first week of the season. That's his third hit of this ball game so far, and he looks like he's already in midseason form. Logan Morrison 
We'll stand in again and we'll take you back to the seventh inning. This was a two-run home run and it was one of the key blows in the ball game thus far. First pitch is a slider down low. It's 1-0. Fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. That one is gonna go. Now a swing and a ground Bad ball, but a foul ball, one and two now. Now this is on the ground to first. We'll see if they can get two. Rollins. And good hustle by the pitcher there on the back end as it's a 3-6-1 to six to one double play. And the side is retired. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Heart of the order, 3-4-5 and five will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. Miami's out in front, 7-2. to two. Ryan Howard will dig in. He homered back in inning number three. Off a fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1 0. Pretty well hit deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats foul. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. On to first, and the Howard shift pays off there. One away. And as we look here from the press level, you can see that with the shift on, the second baseman plays way out there in right field. This time it works to perfection as they get the 4-3 to three put out. Hunter Pence. Will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. First pitch coming. And a strike called at the letters. Looked high to me, but it's nothing in one. that time from Pence as it evens the count at one and one. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a ground ball towards the middle, taken by Infante. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Two up and two down in the ninth so far. This one looks just about to be in the bag. Jay Sutley is the last chance now with two out here in the ninth. Woo! 
First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. Watches one miss outside, 2-0 oh now. Two-0 -oh count, the pitch. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Well, the toughest out in any ball game is always the very last one. These guys are still breathing, but it's going to take a few more of these to get back into contention. Two gone, and Jimmy Rollins will get another crack, one for three thus far. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. At first is Utley, the pitch. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to one and one. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. And Rollins will lay off here, and he's worked the count back to two and two. They can hopefully look forward to winning the series if they can pull one out tomorrow night. And the Marlins got a big lift here tonight from the contributions of this man, Hanley Ramirez. Talk about a worthy recipient. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, Matt, a three-hit ball game for him, but a couple of those were key hits as he swung the bat very well in this one. That's a wrap here tonight. Matt Vaskersian, Dave Campbell, Eric Karos. This has been a presentation of MLB 12, the show. For more, find us online at theshownation.com. The Marlins win it 7-2. Post-game highlights are on the docket next. From Philly, good night, everybody.